I'm always very excited when I get a pet portrait commission, but a question always arises, where do I start? When speaking to a client, it's very important that you secure some quality photos, especially photos that have the eyes, because as far as I'm concerned, the eyes have it. With George, I was very fortunate to get over 20 photos and all were good quality. The problem happened now is which one, two, or three will we use? We narrowed it down to these three, all quality photos, all good shots of the eye. Now it was time to lay out the design and composition. Once the client approves of the composition, it's time to draw and paint. With the drawing complete, I started the first set of washes. I always put something into the eyes so I know where I'm heading. As the portrait develops, I work on all three images at the same time, not finishing one cat, then going to a second and the third. Notice how the eyes are developing as well as the background. I didn't want to bore you with a series of images as the washes developed the portrait, but please take a careful look at the eyes in the background in these two images. Here is a better study of just the eyes. Look at the colors, the shadows, the glimmers, the glints, and the light source. When I think a portrait is finished and know I should stop, I let it go into what I call the incubation period. On the left, you see it before incubation. On the right, you see it after. Let's take a look at these two images again. During the incubation period, which is 24 to 48 hours of not looking at the painting, I look at it with fresh eyes. Can you see the difference? Hint, lower left-hand corner. George is way too fat, and that needed to be changed. Also, the background needed to be darkened in certain areas to make the cat pop out a little bit better. The client, who lives in Ontario, Canada, was very pleased with George's portrait when she received it. Oh, by the way, that's my dog Zoe, who is a therapy dog and my art agent. Welcome to my studio. A few weeks ago, Lisa had asked me if I only did portraits of small animals, and a classmate asked me the same thing. So I decided to show you that, nope, I have done some larger animals too. I hope you enjoy these as well as the eyes. Meet Winston, a 140 pound lab who actually was a rescue from Hurricane Katrina. His photos on the left, his portraits on the right. And here's a close up of Winston's eyes. Notice the glints, the reflections, and the shadows. Sable and Eland are 260 pounds combined of love and energy. They live in Colorado. And here's Dari, a 203 pound Sumatran tiger who lives at the Phoenix Zoo. Up close and personal with Dari's eyes. I especially like how they have a three-dimensional quality. Dari's portrait must have impressed the jurors of the 2014 International Exhibition on Animals in Art because not only did it win an award, but it graced the catalog for the LSU School of Veterinary Medicine that year. Here's little Mia who you met last week in class. Take a close look at her eyes. Inside this little dog's eyes are two tiny paintings, one in each eye because of the reflection from the light. And these eyes, well, they belong to little Zoe, the therapy dog and art agent. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this and maybe even learned something.